Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the WC command, um, which gets used, I don't know, rel relatively often in scripting. Uh, but this was actually an interview question at one of the first, <laughs> one of the first companies I worked at. They asked me, uh, "What is a Unix command to tell you the number of lines in a file?" And I actually didn't know the right answer. My my silly answer was, uh, I would open it in Nano, and Nano tells you the number of lines at the bottom of the file. Um, they they accepted that for creativity, but it wasn't it wasn't the answer they were looking for. Uh, but but anyway, let's look at man wc. Uh, so what wc stands for, I believe, is word count. Um, however, I usually don't use it for word counting. I mostly use it for finding either the length of the file in bytes or the number of lines in the file, uh, which is I think the most common option, and it would have been the correct answer to that particular interview question. Um, and WC can be passed either file names as input or standard input, and it'll you know count the, the number of lines in standard input. Uh, it has a number of different options, so dash C for bytes, dash M for characters. Note the difference between characters and bytes here is dependent on your encoding. Uh, dash L for lines, this is probably the most common option that I usually use. Uh, there's, you know, you can use dash W to get word count. What does it do by default? Uh, I don't know. Let's just see. WC, what if we just do this? Oh, I guess it gives you all of them. So this should be like word, line, word, and byte count. Um, interesting. I didn't know that. That's cool. Um, and yeah, you can also get it to print the maximum width. Uh, this might be useful for figuring out how to print something on the right number of pages or something. I don't know. I've never, never used this option. I pretty much always use dash L or dash C. Um, and so one example that this might be useful for is, um, let's say I wanted to see how many Python files I had in my repository. So this ls files will print out all the files, and then I can pipe that to wc-l and see that there are 111 Python files in this repository. Um, and I could, of course, use xargs wc-l, and that will uh, give me the line counts of all of the files, and it'll, it'll also give you a helpful total at the bottom. I find that this is useful for figuring out, you know, oh, there's 13,935 lines of Python in this repository. Um, so that's that's kind of the most common use case that I use it for is kind of these these two types of commands. Uh, is there anything else that I wanted to show? I think that's it. So one thing to look out for here uh, when you're dealing with xargs and wc-l is sometimes xargs can split your command into a bunch of different calls. Um, this is just simulating me having a lot of files, but I'm actually just shrinking down the counts here. So you'll see that WC ran a bunch of times, and so sometimes this total at the end isn't quite accurate because it might have been batched into multiple different calls. Uh, so you have to do some other processing afterwards to figure out the right total counts there. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, it looks like you can read the names for standard in. Ooh. That's cool. So you can do dash Z and then uh, WC dash dash files zero from equals dash dash L. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, so you can use no delimited inputs to circumvent that totaling problem. Um, Another thing that I often do after I've done wc-l is to try and find the longest file. So these aren't sorted in any particular way. Um, so you can use that. Uh, you can just pipe this into sort, and that will sort. But of course, it doesn't use a natural sort by default. So you want to do sort dash n. Um, and I often want the the biggest one at the top instead of at the bottom. So I'll do dash rn uh, to get the longest files up at the top. Um, but anyway, that's 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 wc. Hopefully this is useful. Hopefully you learned WC-L if you didn't already know it. Um, and you could laugh at me for not knowing it way back when. Uh, but anyway, if you have additional things you want to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.